Recently had another question. Someone wanted to know, if sugar is so bad, Dr. Berg, why is fruit so healthy? Okay. Well, first of all, I never said that fruit was so healthy. Okay. And it's not part of a healthy keto plan. That being said, there's some several things I want to tell you about. The fruits that we consume now are hybrids, which means that over the years, they created these fruits to be sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Um, Honeycrisp apple, for example, is 19 grams of sugar. I mean, take a look at a crab apple. Uh, it doesn't have 19 grams of sugar. So we're consuming more sugary fruits, okay? That's one thing. Number two, fruits should be seasonal, okay? If you're consuming them all year round, that's not really natural. Some people also don't differentiate between whole fruit and fruit juice. Um, they say they're the same, but they're not. Um, the juice is not, not only uh, without the fiber, but without the nutrients because they pasteurize it. They heat it, and that kills a lot of the enzymes and a lot of the heat-sensitive vitamins. So now we have basically pure sugar, okay, versus this which has vitamins and minerals, phytonutrients, and fiber. So it is true that these fruits have these nutrients, okay, which are protective uh, against DNA damage, against the complications of diseases like diabetes, for example. However, fruit has a larger amount of a certain sugar called fructose, okay? Fructose does not go to all the cells in the body like glucose does. It only goes to the liver. 100% of it goes to the liver. What does that mean? It means that it's not going to spike your blood sugar as much, okay? And if you consume fruit and check your blood sugars and you go, wow, it didn't affect my blood sugars, it must be good. What you're missing is that all that fructose is going to the liver and the liver has to deal with it. And if you do too much, it could lead to insulin resistance, which will raise insulin. So if the liver has to deal with too much fructose, it has to put it somewhere. So it converts it to fat and cholesterol and triglycerides. So my advice is because of the percent of the population that has a problem with blood sugars and prediabetes, I recommend that you stick with a small amount of berries and not do fruit. I mean, if you think about what is diabetes, okay? Diabetes is high blood sugar. So why would we wanna add fruit to that? It's gonna add more sugar to a condition that is already too high in sugar. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.